Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. Hey team, welcome to day 28 of this 30-day challenge. And today's game is called Four Bases. So if you've ever heard or played Four Corners before, this is the exact same thing, but Four Bases, right? Um, for the ages, I would say try to keep it to the younger ages. Um, but as always, if you want to play with your team and you think they would have fun, by all means, you can do it. Uh, the equipment, you're not going to need any equipment. It's just your players running out on the bases. Um, where you're going to play, you're going to play in the infield with the Four Bases. And how you play four bases is you or a player that you designate are, is going to be on the pitcher's mound in the center, right? So you're going to be here and you're going to tell your team to go choose a base to go to. It doesn't matter how many people are at a base, your whole entire team could choose second base if they want. All right. So you're going to say, go find a base. So let's say that a few players are here, a few players are here and a couple players here and then two players here, right? So they all choose a base. You are going to have your eyes closed or whoever's on the pitcher's mound saying the bases, you're going to have your eyes closed the way they can't see. And you're going to set a time limit for everybody to choose a base. Let's say you set 10 seconds, right? So you have 10 seconds to go choose a base. You're going to choose a base and you're going to wait there, right? You are on the pitcher's mound and you have your eyes closed and you're going to yell out a base. Let's say you yell out first base. And if you yell out first base, then the people, everybody who is at first base, they are out of the game. And when they are out, if you want to have a side activity that they can do where they can just like play catch or play something like that, or you could have them come to you in the center, you can say you can take turns calling out the bases. Um, so let's say you do that way. So you say first base, these two players are now out. They would come to the pitcher's mound to be with you and they would close their eyes. Everybody would close their eyes and you would give everybody else, everybody who was not out at second, third and home. 10 seconds to go choose another base. So you say 10 seconds, go choose another base. And they would run to a different base. So let's say some of them go to first, some of them go to third, some of them go home, and some of them run across to second base or whatever. They can choose any base they want to. And then the next round, you call out a base. And let's say you choose third base. These four people who are third base would be out of the game. And then they would either join you or they would have a separate activity to go do off on the side. And that's how the game is played. You give them 10 seconds or a certain amount of time to go run to another base. That group of people, who, however many people, there's no limit. That group of people who are at that base that you call after the 10 seconds, they are out of the game. And then slowly but surely, there's going to be a winner at the end of the game. And you can kind of designate how you want to do it. You can have a prize at the end. You can say, all right, no conditioning for you. If you want to get everybody's brain going and kind of move them around a little bit for the warm up. This is just a good, quick, like sort of brain break game. That you can do and like i said the whole idea is that they choose a base there's no limit on the number of players that can be at a base you're in the center you have your eyes closed after 10 seconds you call a base who's ever at that base is out of the game you say all right everybody's who's still in choose another base and then as the game goes on people will get eliminated until at the end there's going to be one person left and they are going to be the winner so four bases day 28 really simple game that you can kind of plug and play at any point during your practices um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you think it's going to be fun and you can uh, play with your team at any point that you want. All right. So day 28, hope you enjoyed. I will be back for day 29. There's only two days left in this 30 day challenge. So I'm super excited to bring you these last two games. Hopefully you've stuck with me throughout this whole month and we have two more days to go. I'll see you tomorrow for day 29. So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go. 
It's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.